all the circumstances come together. Uh, it's it's the the perfect guy at the perfect time, as, as we say here sometimes. And uh, we've got your big day, BU. So this is from the March 9th, 2020 Observer. Jake Roberts, 64, showed up as a new heel manager to lead people against Cody. I would presume his guy that he teased would be either Lance Archer or Brody Lee. Archer was scheduled to debut on the show on 3-4 in Denver, but wasn't there, and nothing was said. So I could think that if they just came up with the idea of using Roberts, it would make more sense to introduce Roberts first and build intrigue. So, uh, Jake, big audience, national television, and suddenly... Mm -hmm. Here you are. You're standing across the ring from one of the hottest baby faces in professional wrestling. Yeah, uh, we're about to watch the clip, but before we get there, I want to know: uh, when you're walking out there and you see all these mm -hmm. people, national television, mm -hmm. any any nerves, or is it like riding a bike? No, man, it's like riding a bike. I was just enjoying the rush, you know, from the pop that I got. Uh, the, the pop was deafening, you know. It really, really was, and uh, made me feel pretty goddamn special. To tell you the truth, man, I appreciate the fans so much for giving me that. Yeah, it's you know I've I've heard guys say and I want to say it was Scott Hall actually said it at one point like kind of the biggest fear is you know the fans just sort of forgetting about you and not caring right. and, and all that stuff and man if you had any of those fears going in they were immediately erased with that yeah fear, no shit uh, we'll see it here in a minute you can see the expressions on people's faces as you're coming out people are just blown away that Jake the Snake Roberts is is strolling in uh, talk to me a little bit about getting the TV on that day what was it like uh, showing up there it was odd you know i had not been around any of the guys there and uh they were all new faces to me and uh it was very strange and um uh, getting there at the building at one o'clock in the afternoon then it not happening till seven that night gave me a long time to uh to sweat it if i was going to and mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't sweat it at all uh, now, what do you think that is? It's just experience where like, just like experience, I've man. been here, done that, zero nerves. Just experience. That's all. That's incredible, man. You know, even after all those years, you know, it's, it's, uh, how long had it been since you had been kind of in oh, a full time Jesus capacity? Christ. A while. Yeah, 90, yeah, 20, 25 years, 97. So, I mean, all that time. And then it's like, yeah, I'm just right back in it. No problem. Yeah, no problem, bro. Remarkable, man. Well, you find yourself in a locker room with a bunch of young talents that grew up watching you. And you yeah, know, it was during a time when you're one of the biggest stars in the business. And these guys are kids. Yeah. Um, and are a lot of them approaching you to shake your hand or get photos? No, man. They were just like, you know, uh, <laughs> you know <and laughs> after I did the inter after I did the interview, then there were a few pictures taken. 